What's up guys, this is Chris here and Nick from PewView on Instagram and YouTube. Uh, we're gonna leave a description for his channel in the description below. Uh, link in the channel, what did I say? I, I liked get it, right? it, it worked perfectly. Leave a good. link in the description. Bye. We're gonna keep it in. All right, so today we're gonna be shooting the Bull SAS 2 TAC Light 4.25. Wait, wait, were you reading that as you were? Fuck yeah, I was. Okay, I can't yeah. remember the name. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I just put it out. It wasn't this way because that, I have to read. Yeah, well, I, you know, they actually have a couple SAS too, so I had to make sure to remember because I would keep calling it the ultralight and people on Instagram keep getting mad at me. Fair enough. But Bull Armory makes some really affordable 1911s it, for the class, of course, and some pretty affordable 2011s as well. And out of, as far as like quality ones go, I would say this is probably the lowest price next to the Prodigy. I just did the Prodigy, so we went out and got this. I found it at Mr. Guns for around $1,400, which is a really good deal for a 2011. And uh, this guy has a four and a, a, four and a quarter inch uh, slide and barrel. Only comes with iron sights. It actually comes with a blacked out sight picture, which is pretty interesting. I haven't ever seen a 2011 that only has just blacked out sights. We just shot a couple mags for it. It did seem to work really well. Um, textured magazine release and uh, slide release here. Or sorry, slide release. Uh, no extended magazine release, but I like that. Good texture on the grip. Very positive safety, which is nice, although it is only on one side. You have to remember for $1,400, that's like a budget 2011, so you're gonna get budget like ergonomics. Um, good texture on the mainspring, memory pad on the grip safety, and you do have a bit of a beveled magwell. One of the things I don't like already is gonna be this. I know a lot of people try to do undercuts like that or try to do finger grooves like that. The reality is those things don't fit most people, including like big corn-fed Iowa people like me. So when I grip the gun, that thing is right on my knuckle, and every time I shoot, it stabs my knuckle. I absolutely hate that. If this gun's reliable today for the 1,000 round review, you'll see that cut clean. I'll, I'll hit that with a Dremel. Um, we have some good serrations on the slide. The slide seems to be sprung really well. However, I don't like this big uh, extended bowl barrel on it. It does look good, but if I drop the gun or something like that onto a sidewalk, like if you're using this for a tactical gun or a home defense gun, where this could get bumped, you could have some real problems with that. That could change your accuracy a lot. So I don't love that. I usually love them recessed or at least not quite extended that much. We have a full stainless steel guide rod and a Picatinny rail as well, which we will be running, if I can find it here, our broken X300 Ultra. Barely even broke, it's okay. Barely broke, yeah. But it does still work, <laughs> as you can see right there. Yeah, that's impressive. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty excited about this gun for the price. It's pretty awesome, I think, already. We've shot a little bit of it, and it does come with two of these undisclosed capacity magazines. I don't know how much they They look old. like Beretta mags, don't they? They do, yeah. They look like something that goes into Wilson Combat, too. Right. Like the EDCX9, kind of. Remind me a little bit of like the PPQ or the VP9 mag, too. I wonder if it like takes other mags. Because sometimes you can, you know, you ever seen that spec mojo a video? With will take anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just hold it in there. Exactly. But yeah, I'm pretty excited so far. We're gonna go out and shoot it and uh, give our impressions, I suppose. Oh, yeah. I also wanna mention my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys very much. I bought this gun from Mr. Guns with a patron dollar, so I appreciate that. If you wanna support the channel, that is the best way to do it. Just go to the link in the description below. Also in that description is a link to a local shelter in Ames, Iowa. It's a YSS. It could use your help. It's a youth shelter, so please get out and donate to those kids. What it actually looks like. Ready? All right, so we're gonna run our first shots through it. I also wanna mention if you like the video, please like, share, and comment. YouTube loves interaction, so we appreciate that. And it helps, it helps support our unbiased content and the Iowa wind that is ever present. Your there light was a light that on my gun. That was amazing, time out, that was amazing. <laughs> I don't know what just happened, but this thing went fucking flying. Yeah, it did. <laughs> The goal is to put it back on without shooting your hand. There we go. Well, it fell off again. I'm it did. Really curious to know why it does that. Because, because <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Them blackout sights are really Jesus hard to see right now. Yeah, that was good shooting. Like short little thumbs. <laughs> I 
Kind of feels like I'm shooting a 40, like the snap is weird. It yeah, did yeah, look yeah. snappy. It's so it does I, feel I think it's because it's really Welcome light. Welcome to the party, Dalton. Commander. Hey, Dalton. Don't suck. Oh, I'm gonna suck. This is no, first you're... shots of the day. That trigger is nice. Pretty good so far. You mind if I back up a little bit? Okay, baby. Come on, I can only ever hit it once. I gotta say, I like that. I wish I had a dot, but I like it. Yeah. First I try. got that. <laughs> get the first one, it's all that matters. I'm trying to get that one on the right that I can't ever hit for some reason. I will get you. There we go. Yeah. Now the plates. You keep it down, Jeff. <laughs> That's not bad. What is that? Like an eight-inch plate? Yeah. Hundred yards. Iron sights, blacked out. Commander length. You just gave me a look through the camera that kind of got me going. Rapid fire. Value right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, we ready? going now nobody knows just you know all our way around it well when they're when not the bad blacked out though it gets a little obscure it's fucking hard it's I can't, quite like, dark it's centered what's well, because like with iron sights you gotta focus this on is the what front. it actually looks like but when the front's blacked out and the rear's blacked out and everything's fucking moving while you're shooting and under recoil it gets a little sketchy to try to you know everybody's like equal height equal light but if you can't fucking tell if you're shooting right. at a black thing with black sights good luck there is no light you know what I mean this thing is fucking nice though. What, $1,500, I'm actually really impressed. It ran all the ammo today. It out, it out uh, raced the Terran tactical gun, which shouldn't have happened. And uh, I hit a eight inch plate with it at 100 yards. That's true, you did. Which means that the gun's accurate at least, you yeah. know? Okay, Prodigy, bull. Uh, I would need right more now, rounds to make that. I wouldn't, decision. I'll take that. Really? Yeah, cause that's gone more rounds without malfunction than the fucking Prodigy ever has. It's really? true. Oh yeah. I didn't really shoot that all that much. I think I put like two, three mags through it. So. Yeah, to me it's not even quite, and that's lighter. So I could, I could carry that, that's so light. Right. This looks nicer. This looks like a $2,500 pistol. Right. Yeah. And that didn't vote against gun rights in Illinois. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> fucking point. That's true. Oh, good. I don't care. You gonna hit one handed? I'm gonna try out 100 yards of this thing. Jesus. But as soon as I pulled the trigger, the wind was like. Because if you do it, I have nope. to do it. One of them's got to get in there. I don't. I can't even see where I'm hitting. I can't I'm, either. Anymore. I'm gonna go high. Bottom. Oh, there it is. I'm, I'm stopping there. Well, I'm gonna try just two rounds, but I have the power of John Wick here, so we'll see. In a in a suspiciously uh, zeroed red dot, yeah, that we're not true. super sure. No 
idea. Ting! Yeah! Got it. <laughs> I did. Everyone accuses us of having a Dude, guy. I did the same thing. It's Dude. okay. I, what? I'm gonna try that fucking eight inch. I can't see that fucker good enough. I love the old band glasses though. Stylish. I can't hit that fucking thing. Kobe. Oh, you got one. Uh, yeah, I was on the TA that time. Oh, I can't well. hit the H. That's what <laughs> I've been trying for. The TA I can hit. And make it snappy. Here, would you like this, sir? I would. So, so far, I was kind of impressed. We, I mean, we mentioned the Prodigy because how could you not? But like, this is lighter, so it does have more recoil than the Prodigy. That's for sure. Yeah, They're it felt both, like a 40. For sure. Uh, but if you carried it, you would notice that too because it's, you know, five, six ounces lighter because it has the aluminum frame. Not only does it have an aluminum frame, but it's actually cut back even further, which I didn't notice earlier than a normal one is. So I think that makes it look super good, though. It does look good. It looks All better than I thought. Yeah, the two-tone looks good, and then they put the... Uh, the uh, uh, stainless grip safety on it too. Uh, I don't like that it doesn't have a dot mount, but you are paying like fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars for this, or at least I did. I don't know what these MSRP for. I should have looked that up, but hey, I'm not that professional. <laughs> um, I wish it had a uh, fiber optic front sight, but that's easily fixed. You just find one that's the exact same size as this that dovetails into a 1911, pop right. it out, and put the other one in. Uh, then you at least have some contrast. Like that was the issue we had shooting at long distance because it's fading light here Just and in fading everything. light your eyes fuck with you unless you have something to focus on exactly which is why it's important to train in multiple situations absolutely it absolutely Science. is yeah, absolutely now it's interesting because the blacked out sights a lot of people talk about night shooting but if you were to shoot with a, at night with a light on this your sights are blacked out anyway you know because like, you get like the silhouette of the the op or the uh, light on it I, i'm probably going to shoot at night with this and probably have no issue at all i for, first off i like this better than the prodigy because there's no malfunctions good point I mean, not it, a single one. Not actually. a single one. And we use two different types of ammo, yeah, we do. blazer brass, and then two different mags too. Two different mags as well. Yep. So overall, it performed well. The recoil was good. I mean, not as good as a full size, but hey, what do you expect? For a compact gun, it shot well. It shot fast. It shot accurately. It shot reliably. We'll that do a thousand round review. That trigger was fucking it great. It is nice. It's like a one and a half pound trigger. I was not expecting that. I was expecting a fifteen hundred dollar trigger, which me would too. Break like eight pounds. That's really good. Oh, Bill Wilson, you gonna come out? Come kill me now because I dropped the slide. <laughs> it's the first thing I thought of when I dropped. It. I was like, fuck. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it so far. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Please help out your local homeless shelters and remember to recycle. I'll check you later. Nailed it. Down here, that way we look similar. I need a step stool. <laughs> Just jump a little bit.